I've done printmaking, I've worked with spray paint, house paint, acrylic paint, watercolors. I mean, even designing my plate of food. When I was growing up, <laughs> it was interesting. In, in Hawaii, I was half Japanese, but you know, I look very fair, I look very white. And so if I was by myself, I'd get treated a certain way. If I was with my mom, who's really dark, I get treated another way. So in my art, there's a lot of duality as well, and there's a lot of levels and layers. Some are 2D, some go into three-dimensional, and you're not sure where they meet or where they um, connect. Ever since high school, I've been interested in controversial things and pushing the edge or limits of what people might have seen. People will turn to many things to make them happy. Some need to be medicated. I had this idea, and I finally, you know, got to do it. I think there's kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing if you do a smiley face made out of hardcore drugs. You know, my family, I went through their cabinets and it seemed like kind of a creepy thing. I even put a post on Facebook like, does anyone have any expired pills I can use? I swear I'm like not doing them, I just like need them, I'm collecting them. You know, it's in the name of art and I got a lot of weird responses, but not any pills. No one wanted to send me any pills, I didn't get any that way, so I really just had to go to friends and bug them for more pills. But the idea is interesting to me because I I don't think I've seen it. The taboo aspect, the mind-altering effect. When you look at a piece of art, at least for me, it's like, it takes me to another place. It can make me daydream. And to use pills, I don't know, it's really significant. And it, it's fun because it's colorful. It can come off as playful, but it could also be really serious. But um, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a fun idea I wanted to run with.